Good day, everyone. It's Talisa at DIY Living by Talisa Lindsay. How are you today? I wanted to share with you really quick um, some ideas that we're doing. We're just trying to change the things of the monotony of the atmosphere because we all know what's going on this year. It's just a different year. And so um, we're not able to go do the typical things that we love to do traditionally. And that is we love to sit by Morton Lake and watch the fireworks and bring our own little picnic by the lake and um, just enjoy the scenery because it's really pretty out and, and be with our friends and our family there as well and just have a great time. So I'm just gonna try to do the next best thing today. And so I wanna share that idea with you. Um, you can see right here, we have some beautiful followers who are sending some tobacco sticks. And so my husband got inventful and hung it in the tree here for our backdrop, just to kind of bring in the season of what we're celebrating today. He set up our outdoor tent. It's a small one, which I'm gonna show you. I already hung one of my little lamps that he's made me and I'm gonna show that to you as well. And then I wanna show you what we're gonna do to kind of make this evening a little bit more special than typically than we do. And I hope that you love this idea. Run with it, do something with your family with it. Um, if it's not even today that you do it, do it on another night for like a family night that would just be absolutely fun or just to celebrate with having um, some close friends over that you know that obviously doesn't carry the COVID or any of that. And I hate to say that word, shouldn't even bring it up, but anyhow, um, and just being safe and all of that. So let me switch around real quick and let's get to this, okay? Okay, so here we go. Um, it's just our basic uh, folding chairs and tables that we've got going on and of course our outdoor tent. Now I've already hung this gorgeous um, candle opera thing that my husband has made me with uh, fishing string and some of my farmhouse beads. And then I'm going to put a candles battery opera on side of this. And then of course we're hanging it on kind of, um, it won't fall, but it's not obviously there permanently because it's just something temporary we're doing, but just to bring a little bit of an ambience that's going on. Um, our lawn right now, we live in Florida, is a little bit dead because our water sprinkler system needs to be fixed. And so long story short, we're just gonna deal with it and it's hot and humid and you know, it's just all that in Florida. Um, we hung up some strings that are right here, as you can see, they're on each side. We also have um, this in the background. It looks maybe like a mess to you, but a big block. But what it's gonna be is we're gonna be shooting some bow and arrows, practicing a little bit later with the kids. We just thought it would be something fun. Obviously, we are going to practice safety. All the noises in the background, we live in the country. So that's just the real facts, just to let you know. And then of course, my husband hung up this beautiful flag that's right here that's kind of gonna set the audience of what's going on. And um, this evening, over in this corner here, or right here, we're going to hang a white sheet, and we're also going to watch some movies outdoors with the kids, obviously at dusk and dark, uh, dark whenever it, you know, just to bring a little bit something different, being that we're not able to be at the lake this year. And um, eventually what we're going to be doing this summer, when it cools down in the evenings or early mornings, we've already emptied out our mulch over there. And so we're just going to be remulching that and then adding some more plants and all of that. But for right now, it is what it is. So it's fine because we're going to still set the stage and the audience with what we're going to create right in here and in this little section right here. And we're also going to set up our horseshoes. So we're just going to try to make the best of what it is today. So stay tuned and let's see what I come up with as far as the final reveal on the decorating. I think the kids are gonna love it. They always do when I do something different. So stay along, let's see what happens. Okay, let me start off by explaining. These are Pioneer dishes that I had from good, actually it's Walmart, and they were on clearance last year. These plates right here, so I grabbed them when they went on clearance toward the end of the season. I wind up using them this year, I just love them. Um, also, this was from Walmart at the time. I believe this one is not, this one's ceramic and this one is not. So it's gonna be perfect either way. It matches great. I love it for even for everyday um, use or something just special. I think it's pretty. Um, we're just gonna go with plastic wear because we have barbecue that's going on. So obviously just something I already had. I believe those came from uh, Dollar Tree, just 
basic whites. And then um, these napkins, I believe, was from the Dollar General. And so was this tablecloth. And it was sent by a beautiful follower. But I checked on them, and I believe they're like $2. So it's really going to be easy once we're done. We're just going to be able to take the whole thing and just, you know, toss it except for the dishes, obviously. But everything else, we don't have to worry about cleaning up the mess and wiping up because it's plastic. We can just toss it. Now, these I got last year, these placemats. I just love them. The red trucks, aren't they gorgeous? With the little American flag in the back of them. I love this truck so, so much. Um, these were a coal clearance last year I got. I'm still in love with them. Still love the red truck. So it's gonna, it's probably gonna be here to stay for a little while with me anyway. So I just put that down and I was only able to find like two or three of them. So I put it here in the, in the place setting and then I put it at the opposite side of the table. And then, and I'll show you, I'll stand back and show you everything else. This was a clearance. If you right now go to Hobby Lobby, they have their spring collection. It's like 75% off. These were originally like $4.99. I, you know, take 75% off that. And I barely paid like over a dollar for um, these two placemats, which is here and here. And then um, I already had some American flag um, just from doing some black plodging and some followers again sent me some extras so I used that with the pla same plastic where I had some leftover of these little picks which you're going to wind up putting in our watermelon sweet tea that we're going to serve later and if you don't know about that you need to jump over to my blog and get that recipe because it's awesome it is at www.diyliving by Talisa Lindsay and let me explain real quick what this is these are all DIYs that we've done here on my page. This was our monthly DIY kit. It came with a little easel, the star that we've done. See how precious that is, it's so cute. And then we had this little house that also, and this year I am loving the gingham. So I brought that in. This is a towel that came from the Dollar Tree. I just lined it inside of my farmhouse tray that came from, um, this one came from the, the farmhouse tray came from the Dollar, general yes so then i just brought in my salt and pepper shakers toothpicks because of course we're going to need that for being outdoors because we're going to be having burgers and hot dogs and that so those are just some of the uh, necessities that we'll need and i'll be bringing out the wind's blowing right now so i'm going to have to put something behind this to kind of make the wind um hold it down a little bit which won't be too hard to do i'm just kind of showing you right now it's not too much. Again, this is a DIY I did. I did it was a napkin that was decoupage. This was a Dollar General gift that was from a follower, and I converted it into a cute little um, DIY with patriotic, which I just love, love, love that. It's so cute. And then I took a Dollar um, Tree. Uh, you get those uh, stacking blocks, and I painted that and kind of did this kind of like a tie-dye effect with the stars that's also from there. And so I really, really like that look. I'm gonna probably just wind up taking that away. It'll stand up better if I, sorry, if I wind up just not putting it on that little riser and it'll stand by itself. There we go, that's a lot better. Okay, so anyhow, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, if you did the whole just and then these will have the candles that I'm gonna put in there tonight just for the ambience. And I might, not really sure. I don't know if I wanna um, deal with the hustle of it, honestly. I'm just hanging anything else off of the sides of here as far as a banner goes. I think that the table itself is very patriotic. The wind's blowing right now. So you can see it's flipped up over there. But if you stand back and just take a look, um, again, I will put um, little things behind these that will help keep these stable so they won't blow over. Kind of like the same thing I did with my star. So when the wind's blowing, it won't take it away. But anyhow, you get the effect, but it just brings something nice, uh, you know, from the outdoors. And then, of course, we're going to be just dressing up the barbecue area a little bit over here with condiments. Ignore what's in there, but we're going to put condiments and uh, things that we're going to also need for our sweet tea, watermelon sweet tea that we're going to make. And then we're going to bring our special little tea glasses and just sit here and be able to enjoy watching our movie on the back screen, playing some horseshoes this evening, um, roasting some marshmallows as well because we have a big bonfire that we're going to be t um, doing. And then we're also going to be shooting some bows. Um, so we're just going to turn it into something fun. So... 
thank you for allowing me to come into your home and just show you um, our idea that we want to do for this fourth. I hope it inspires you in some way to do something just different outside the box for your family to make it special just because we're in a different time today. So I just appreciate you so very much. I hope that you will decide to come over and follow us at DIY Living by Talisa Lindsay because we are all about family. We're all about fun. We're all about DIYs and we're all about living over here. So that's just the real thing in life. So again, have a great fourth. I hope to see you very soon. Make sure you hit that follow, that share, and that like button. And um, I will see you over there when we have our next DIY. Have a great fourth. Bye-bye, everybody. Take a quick glance one more time and see how sweet. It's backwards to me. Precious, precious table. So, see you soon.